Whew. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Dario. Hey, Dario. And today we got a quick and easy install for you. I know the first thing, you want, well, one of the first things you want to do when you get your Ducati, I know, is get rid of that reflector. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, go over how to get rid of it and uh, the torque specs you'll need to know and the tools you'll need for the job to make it very easy. So I'm going over to all those things. And um, yeah, stay tuned. Okay, guys, so first things first, you're going to need some tools. You're going to need a ratchet with a one fourth inch drive. I'm using this side right here. Mine uh, has the uh, one fourth, the half, and the three eighths built right on it. Got it from Cobalt, but I'm using the one fourth inch drive today. You're going to also need an eight millimeter hex key uh, socket. So I'm putting that right on the uh the the ratchet like so the next thing you'll need is a torque wrench a torque wrench that has a range that will get you uh in inch pounds uh under 60 inch pounds and above 40 inch pounds uh this one right here from tecton is the one i'm using uh yeah it, it does the job that i need to do so that's what i'm rolling with and then finally you will need your spacers like so all right so and guys i'm going with the red spacers why because it fits the theme that i'm doing for my bike but you don't need the red spacers you can go with the uh the, the uh what is that silver or, or titanium nickel whatever the one that because there's one that's already on your bike it's already um there and then the other space is where the reflector is you just take those two reflectors off both sides and you can just uh put the uh silver one i'm gonna just say silver Put the silver one right there, and then everything looks cool. It, 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 everything flows. I'm going red. Um. So with that being said, big shout out to my guy Scott from Southern California who sent me over some uh, of the silver ones. Scott said, "Go ahead and give those away on your channel, man." I said, "Cool. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and give them away." So I'm giving these away. If you want the uh, spacers for yourself. Uh, you don't have to go uh, and buy them or anything. Just um, like my channel, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram at Hey Dario Moto, um, and share one of my videos. After you do that, take screenshots of these things, and then uh, message me on Instagram and say, Hey, send me those spacers, and that's exactly what I'll do. So there you go, ready for you. And um, on that same note. Uh, I got more prizes and things that are, are gonna get uh, gonna get bigger. I know you guys follow me on Instagram. Saw that I had a box. This is the box. This is the box right here. So um, there's something in it, and uh, most likely this is going to a fan. So um, yeah, guys, go ahead and like and subscribe because as as time goes on, the prizes are gonna get better. They're gonna get bigger. They're gonna get better. Then we're gonna get really official with the giveaways once we hit that 1,000 subscriber mark. And man, we're gonna do big things, man. And it's gonna be fun. So, anyways, without further ado, let's get into it. Let's go ahead and uh, get these uh, get this ugly reflector off and uh, put these good old caliper spacers on. Yeah, it's hot. Whew. All right, guys. So, as you guys can see, we have the uh, the ugly little uh, uh, ugly little reflector on here that uh, you know we're gonna get rid of. Now, if you notice, you'll see the uh, caliper spacer that comes with it, and then you'll see see that this one doesn't have it. It has the reflector in its place. So we're gonna take one of them off at a time. The reason being is we don't want this hanging. So we're going to take one of them off, one of these bolts off. We're going to do this side. Uh, we're going to go ahead and tighten it up. Not all the way, uh, but we're going to tighten it up. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and do this next side the same way. Once we got both of them on, we're going to torque them down to those proper specs. Now, guys, while we're talking about torque specs, it is very important to know this. Even if you're not changing out your calipers, you need to know that Ducati has changed the specs on the uh, calip this uh, caliper spacer, the caliper spacer, the bolt right here that holds them in. It was 45, but now it's 53. 
Big shout out to Scott, Scott again because Scott is the one who, who gave me those official numbers from Ducati and showed me those numbers. So big ups to Scott and um, check him out because he's doing big things on his on his uh, uh, V2. And let me tell you, Scott uh, Scott loves his V2, man. He got rid of all these things like the first day he got it. He pretty much did a, a, a he, he did big things on here. So go check him out and uh, yeah, let's get back to it. So first things first, guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our ratchet with the um, our ratchet with the uh, eight millimeter hex key on our one fourth inch drive, and we're gonna go ahead and take those bolts out. So first one I'm gonna do is this bottom one. All right, once it gets loose enough, you just go ahead and do it with your hand. All right, once we got it off, we go ahead and take that one off. Put our red one on because this is what's matching my style. They have them in black and I believe they have them in gold as well. I'm not quite sure, but I think I believe so. So I'm putting mine on and I'm just gonna hand screw that in there. And a matter of fact, I'm gonna leave it just like that. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do the next one. Let's make sure it's not hanging in there. Right. Now we've gotten it loosed. Gonna go ahead and just take it on out of there with our hand. All right, now that it's loose, we just take that off, slide the ugly little reflector right off, and uh, done with that, we get our next caliper spacer. We put it on, and you know what? I'm thinking I should, maybe I should change these bolts out as well, but. That's another story for another day. Definitely, definitely won't make a video on that, but I believe uh, for my own customization sake, I think, yeah, I believe I'm gonna change these bolts out. So I will be looking for a replacement for those bolts. All right. So we just hand screw this one in as well. Like so. After we've done that, we can go ahead and take our uh, take our eight millimeter hex uh, key uh, socket right off of there, and we can add it to our our uh, torque wrench. Go ahead and put it on there, and now this one we're, we're ready to torque it down. I have my torque settings already torqued to 53 uh, inch pounds, and now we're just going to torque it on in there. Okay guys, so now that we've tightened that up, uh, we're good to go. We just go to the other side and repeat the same exact process. No need to uh, go through that whole entire thing. And uh, yeah, so that's that. Quick and easy install. All right guys, so that was that. And it's really just that simple. Uh, but just so you guys can see it, you know, see the modification, see how it looks on the bike. Uh, let's check it out. And um, yeah, matches my uh, the uh, clutch cover that I installed, and I'm gonna have a few more things matching it. And you know what? We we gonna do we gonna do some big things. So uh, stay tuned, guys. And uh, yeah, so let's just check out the bike, see how it looks. Yeah. <laughs> 